hello everyone welcome to my channel today we will be cooking some fried beans we will be making some fried beans very simple easy process okay you can use um, one red pe one red bell pepper or you can use all the three colors I like colors in my food so I added that why don't we dive into this and let's get to it and this is what it looks like thank you for tuning in and make sure you subscribe okay hello so this is what I'm going to do today I'm going to show you how to cook my easy easy sweet honey beans it's called honey beans okay the Yoruba is they call it oloin okay you can use any other beans you can use brown beans you can use bean flour I mean bean flour is for cake you know um, you know there are different kind of beans that they have out there you can even use black eyed peas but I have stopped e eating black eyed peas for years now at ooh, probably more than more than 12 years I haven't eaten black eyed peas okay that would not be my choice to eat so I always go for either the honey beans or I go for the brown beans and today I will be making my easy fried beans that we normally eat in the house and the ingredients you need for that are as follows you need the beans okay which is that and what I do I already took some and put some in the bowl okay and what you do is you you go through the beans go through them you know and take all the debris out of it you also need a vegetable oil crayfish which is optional dry crayfish which is optional i put it sometimes and sometimes i don't because some of my children don't like fish so and for some reason they taste fish in that okay then you need your salt to taste and when i cook the beans i also use limestone which is also known as a cow okay it's known as cow but it is it is limestone and i only take you know this is optional as well i just put a little bit just like so okay just to make the beans you know soft you know i think that's what it does for me i don't know what else again then the ingredients i'm going to use is this just this okay you can put tomatoes if you want i don't want it to be too watery so i don't i cook sometimes i've had like maybe one tomatoes maybe a medium tomatoes depending on the quantity sometimes i don't and in this case i am not going to be using any tomatoes i'll be using two medium onions I love my food to be hot, so I'll be using three habanero peppers. I'm going to be using no cube for, for um, taste. And I'm not going to blend this stuff. I am just going to grind it. So let's get into it, and we'll show you. So first and foremost, we're going to go and pick up the beans and clean it, and we'll get right back. Now I have picked my beans, and my beans is cooking. It's cooking right now, so you can see it's boiling. So I'm just going to let these beans get real soft before I go into the frying process. And I also put the... Um, some people call it potash and some people call it limestone and you can see how it's making it bubble up because I did put that inside of it so you see how it's making that foam up you know and I'm just gonna give it a stir so that it doesn't um, flow over okay and I'm going to reduce this fire a little bit and cook with medium heat okay so I'm just gonna let this cook and we'll be back so as you can see my hold up sorry my fan was on so as you can see i have sliced my onions my pepper my sweet pepper according to how i'm going to be using it so the onions goes first then i will put the habanero i'll put a sweet pepper then the habanero pepper will go last this is what i use if i want it to be a little bit watery or runny you know or want some juice in the beans then i will add some tomatoes but I don't want no tomatoes because I don't want it too runny. I just want it right because once the beans is cooked, all I have to do is just put in my all my ingredients, including my my um, salt and uh, salt and bouillon cube, and it's all ready to go. So let's go. So what I will do at this point is to get my pan and put my pan up here, and I will get my vegetable oil and put about I want to say about a cup of you know this should be about a cup. You know, I eyeball it or uh, a cup to a cup to about a three quarter of um, uh, vegetable oil. That should be enough for me to cook this quantity of beans. And I will start to saute my stuff right now. Why that at this point is slow cooking and I'm keep checking on it because I do want these beans to be kind of like soft and almost like in a mochi form. Okay. So we'll be back. I will let this oil to be hot, but I will not let it to be extremely hot okay so it'll be hot enough for me to put the vegetable I don't want it to be bleached all the way 
so what I do here I will check to see if it's ready for me to put this in and guess what it's not ready okay because if it's ready you will see like little bubbles will come out so I'll be back okay now I'm back I think they should be ready now let's check it again yep it's ready to go so I will put everything in the frying pan and saute this for like for like um, two minutes or five minutes so, saute I'm not gonna let it dissolve all the way I let it saute and I put my salt okay I'm gonna eyeball it okay I'm not putting a whole lot because I put a little bit on the beans okay then at this point I'm also gonna put my bouillon cube my no cube and kind of let this uh, cook cook together so the simple secret to cooking this is that I allow the beans to cook like the beans will get cooked I just added a little bit more water because it needed a little bit more for it to be soft so I'm going to cover the beans back like so and I'm going to allow this to cook for like a little bit more then I will turn the fire off once the best is all cooked all the way then I will not add it to the beans at that point once I add it to the beans the beans will only have to cook for like maybe about five minutes and it'll be all ready now I would love to show you look at that see how soft that is now this is ready so the next step is I will take my sauteed vegetables and I'll put it all in there stir this together just like that like so we'll be back all right so now our fried beans is ready and this is what it looks like okay it's really yummy and in this you can eat this alone or you can eat it with rice with ripe plantain on ripe plantain you can eat this with custard a camel which is which is made out of beans I mean out of corn you can eat it with this this is custard or you can eat it with oatmeal or you can also eat it with bagel bread croissant I mean it's just nameless the things you can eat it with is nameless so thank you very much for tuning in and I appreciate you and God bless